Good evening, everybody. This is your boy, Heaven Hollywood. This is the IE News, and we have breaking news. So Donald Trump, former president, has been indicted by a New York grand jury. Um, these are the things you need to know. Former President Donald Trump has been indicted by a Manhattan grand jury. Multiple sources tell CNN, I'm getting this article from CNN, marking the first time in American history that a current or former president will face criminal charges. Trump's attorney said he likely will be arraigned next week. The indictment has been filed under seal and will be announced in the coming days. Charges are not publicly known at this time, one source told CNN. Trump released a defiant statement calling it political persecution and election interference at the highest level in history. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office has been investigating the former president in connection with his alleged role in a hush money payment scheme and cover-up involving adult film star Stormy Daniels. That dates to 2016 uh, presidential election. So... Uh, Stormy Daniels' uh, attorney tweeted, The indictment of Donald Trump is no cause for joy. The hard work and consciousness of the grand jurors must be respected. Now let truth and justice prevail. No one is above the law, Team Stormy. Now, for people asking questions, here's what we need to know and what happens next now that Trump has been indicted. A Manhattan grand jury's indictment of former uh, President Donald Trump will set in motion a criminal process that will in some ways work like that of any other def defendant and, and, and others look very different. When someone is indicted, the charges are sometimes kept under seal until the defendant's first appearance in court. The charges that the grand jury approved against Trump are currently not public. This evening, we contacted Mr. Trump's attorney to coordinate his surrender to the Manhattan DA's office for arraignment on a Supreme Court indictment, which remains under seal. Guidance will be provided when the arraignment date is selected, a sports, a spokesperson for Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg said in a statement. First appearances are usually public proceedings if an arrest of a defendant is not needed. Arraignments are made with them or their lawyers for voluntary surrender to law enforcement. With their first appearance in court, defendants are usually booked and fingerprinted. Trump's attorneys were informed of the grand jury's vote shortly after the indictment was publicly reported. Sources told Trump, a lawyer told CNN, that Trump will likely be arraigned in court next week. So... A lot of people said, so does this end his um, quest to become president? I would certainly hope so. But in the world that we're living in, <laughs> and in my opinion, the pathetic, sad, weak country called the United States, I would not be surprised if this man still wind up in, in the um, White House. Nobody else could, could do and get away with what this man has gotten away with. Nobody. So, while I would like to think that there is no possible way that this man could ever get reelected, you know, he got impeached twice, first president to ever do that, <laughs> and now he's the first president to ever get indicted. So, what makes you think he won't be he can't be the first president to ever get impeached twice, indicted once, and still got elected. <laughs> That's the pathetic country called the United States. So why I would like to think that he wouldn't be able to be, to become, you know, you would think that this would hold some weight. But who knows? Who knows? So, with any uh, uh, any updates, we're going to keep you, you know, up, keep you updated if there's any more developments. Uh, once again, former President Donald Trump has been indicted. You know, once I see him handcuffed and getting taken to the big house, then maybe I'll celebrate. Then maybe I'll celebrate. 
Until then, we'll have to see. This is Evan Hollywood for the IE News. Catch you on the next one.